cases. I'm joined now by Matthew Charles, the first person to be released from prison under the act. Um, you were not only the first inmate released from the program, but you were also recognized by the president for being a model citizen. Those are his words. First of all, what did it feel like to be called a model citizen by the president of the United States? To hear the president state that it was, it was like an overwhelming, amazing feeling uh, because I was just trying to live a productive life and a changed life. So to hear him state that as being the president of the United States, that meant a whole lot. You know, when we talk about the thousands of inmates that are going to be reunited with their families, it brings up a very interesting and valid point. The fact that a lot of these families, a lot of these relationships are absolutely destroyed after incarceration. So how critical is this program for people like yourself? I would say it's very critical. Uh, the president's stance has always been to move forward as far as to make sure that justice is done in the sentencing and after a person uh, is released so that they can have a successful reentry into society. So it's very important because housing comes into play and employment come into play. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not cutting you off. Continue. Okay. And in regards to the second chance initiative that was uh, spoken of, second chance hiring uh, in June by the president, where he stated that he was talking with HUD, House Urban Development, about housing and the barriers to housing for those that are being re-entered into society, as well as speaking to those in the private sector to hire us. And he also commented that sometimes we are the best workers because we now have a different work ethic than what we had to cause us to be incarcerated. So seeing all that and hearing all that is very important yeah. and I thank the president for his lead. That is 